At HGS 110, we manufacture high temperature superconducting magnets. We're the only people in the world to do that. We make magnets for industrial and research applications from around the world. Today, I'd like to introduce you to our latest project for our good clients, Gwena Research and Development in Australia. The product we're featuring today is the Gwena Supertron prototype engine. This is a one-off, first of its type in the world. At Gwena Energy, we're developing a range of home and polar machines, motors and generators. This magnet is one of the key components to our testing platform. The other key component is the rotor equipped with liquid metal current collector system. So what we were looking for from the magnet was a very high central magnetic field in the region of the rotor and very low regions of magnetic field in the areas where the liquid metal current collectors are operating. What we've actually got here is we've got a device that's made up of two discrete magnets that interrelate to each other on a magnetic level. So inside this structure here is the superconducting coil as is inside this structure here. Now in this device there is five kilometres of superconducting wire in a coil arrangement in order to achieve the magnetic field required for this device to function as designed. Now in order for the superconducting material to um, function as designed it has to be chilled down to minus 250 degrees Celsius. The way we achieve this is by evacuating the cryostat, the container. It's got a high level vacuum inside and the coils sit five millimetres approximately away from the inside wall. In this five millimetre gap, we install what's known as super insulation. So we have room temperature on the outside and on the inside, five millimetres away, we have minus 250 degrees Celsius. Now, this, this is achieved, like I say, by the high level of vacuum and by careful design and construction of the installation. In this particular project, we made some challenges during the embodiment design. Uh, to meet requirements of the magnetic design, we have to extensively use composite materials, considerably larger than in any other magnet previously designed by HTS-110. The interlacing support of the coil assemblies is uh, complicated in its uh, support coils inside and we use uh, vacuum inside the magnet to counteract magnetic forces and the support of the coils inside the magnet designed the way that this magnet can work in either vertical or horizontal conditions. We chose HTS 110 for this particular magnet build because we needed someone with the capability to take our detailed specification in terms of desired magnetic field profile through the stages of detailed cryostat design Along with that, we needed someone that could take um, additional requests um, such as a composite cryostat um, through the design phases through to final magnet production. So it just falls to me to say a final thank you to John and Tony and the whole team at Gwena Research and Development for entrusting us with this project. It's been a really technically challenging and pretty tough project overall, but it's been fantastic to see how well our teams have worked together to deliver a satisfactory result.